Okay, everybody, welcome back to Mars Horizon. Hope you're having a good time. I'm actually, I've actually waited to record this until I could read some of your comments on the last one. Yeah, so that you guys are caught up to me now. Huh? There's no backlog now, which actually is kind of scary, but you know, my kids back home and stuff. This is my new reality. I can't just record all the time anymore, okay? Uh, so I think we're going for the station and that, that makes the most sense to me too. It makes the most sense to me because we're kind of racing China for this right now is what it seems. But again, this station, the International Space Station, it, it, uh, it gives you things all the time, right? And I, I really like that too. Uh, and if I can get all, everything, I still want to get the Pluto flyby. So I think what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to get the station. We're going to get Zvezda. We're going to launch it all up there. And while we're doing that, we can focus on... I don't know if Grand Tour... See, the thing is, I don't know if Grand Tour also... I, I think it does, but I don't know this. But does Grand Tour also grant us first on flybys to all of the planets that it encompasses like i assume it does but it also takes forever to do and launching like a dedicated satellite to these flybys might be better anyway and we could also launch you know multiple missions i have a lot of uh i have a lot of mission slots so not opposed to it but in any case we are going to go with the station research so let's hit that and uh unity is complete in three days Amaryllis is complete in three days. We're going to be launching our space telescope in three days. Our live from Luna broadcast, which is paying us a ton of money, is good in six days. All sorts of amazing things happening, guys. And um, as far as crew, we've got several on the station already. We're about to have three more on a different station, so we're probably going to have to hire some more people. I like elect I like electricians. I uh, I do tend to abuse power quite a bit. I like scientists, of course. Very good. So we're probably gonna end up doing something like that too. It's gonna be a thing. Let's go to the next month. And ESA is gonna launch Mars orbit in nine months. We've already uh we've already done that ourselves, actually. Let's take a look quick gander, all right, at our at our successes, okay? We have more gold on this than we have anything else, okay? To point that out there. I'm also in the process, right, of getting modular space station 2 built this is going on the shuttle so that takes care of that problem and uh and then space telescope is launching so we're gonna get gold here and we're gonna get gold here all that's left at that point is we can hit gold for here and get the international space station completely unlocked which is great and then uh yeah i think we go for grand tour at that point if if possible we're gonna need a, a ton of cash we're gonna need a lot of money and uh Ooh, the rendezvous attempt has this thing. Ooh, please, please stay here. Allow me to do you. <laughs> just stand, just sit still and allow me to do you. Do not leave, okay? Just stay right there. Because, like, the last time I wanted to do the mission for that for that upgrade, it, it left before I could do it. All right, 91% of the payload is fantastic. And, uh... Again, the launch vehicle for that station module is the shuttle, so good. Amaryllis has got 100% reliability. We're just going to call it 100 because that's how cocky I am. And mission training bonuses are going to be increased by 100%. So this is the most optimal of all situations there, isn't it? Space telescope, though. This is going up on a rocket. 91%. 76 on the payload. Kind of sucks, but we're going to work through it because I went for a science bonus. And look at that science bonus let's go i got like this is greed beyond greed we're gonna get like fifteen thousand science for this and all i have to do is launch this today while it's raining with my 91 percent reliability which probably becomes 80 now Ooh, wow ouch that's a big hit let's reschedule this like we're not in a hurry nobody else is doing this right now Let's not be let's not be carried away here. We'll go to August. Let's go. <laughs> There's no reason to be that bold, okay? Not that bold. All right, modular space station two. We're gonna use the shuttle. We're using shuttle Empyrean. It's great. I like it. And we're, this is yeah. There's, we're just gonna reuse this. This is good. Um, shock absorption is on, and that helps us with our payload reliability at 96%. I see no problems with this. Absolutely not. We're getting plus. Yeah, it just takes four months instead of three. 
uh, but we get 30% more science. So this is just awesome everywhere. Go. Refitting the shuttle. Ready to go. Uh, and then we have moon micrometeorites. This mission is really high on the reliability as well. We already have 99 on the launch. So we might as well train payload. We get 100% bonus on the training for this. And we're going to go in October, which basically means our payload is 100%. So this mission could not be any more stacked in our favor. Go. I like where these things are headed. Now, on the base, because I have $3 million. On the base, is there anything I can build? There's some research I could do, but I'm doing the modular space station three. And then maybe while we're building other missions, we can focus on some building stuff. Cause like, sure. I am planning to move every single building in this base and I'm going to shift it around and wrap it around that lake and all that stuff. But I'm not doing that until it's free. I've seen some people in the comments who are telling me not to do that cause it costs too much money. I'm not doing it until it's free. There's a perk for that. It can be free. It, it can be free. Okay. Let's launch this mission. So 76% on the payload here. We're 99% on the launch. Now I know what you're thinking. This is almost certainly gonna blow up. <laughs> Cross my fingers. I've had actually extraordinary luck this playthrough. Um, I don't wanna like jinx it by saying that, but if it blows up, it blows up. Hubble would be very expensive blowing up. Uh, so I'm glad we have a 99%. Let's go. Five, four. Please don't be the 1%. We have lift off. You're going way too slow for me. Th that was going way too slow for me. I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> way too slow. All right. It's it's nominal launch. Good. <laughs> Oh my god, I sent that in the Saturn instead of the shuttle, which was a uh, bad decision, but uh, I already kind of committed to it, and um, you know, canceling it wouldn't have gotten me all the money back. Probably would have lost like 800 grand, and at that rate, I might as well just build it. So, okay. So, we have a decaying drift modifier. Wow. Wow. Negative two on that, too. All right. Well, uh, we got to get 18 and 18. We have 12 power, which is awesome. We have extra power. Paid for the extra power. So let's uh, let's do something with that extra power. We're going to hit this a couple of times. E this. That's a decent first turn. I can get behind that. Especially with the additional. I like it good look at that telescope man it looks super cool look at that awesome telescope bask in the glory of that beautiful machine oh yes that's beautiful oh yeah all right so we gotta hit this again i think i'll actually hit this one instead knocks it over two uh and then i can hit this twice and that will get me a whole lot of nav. And then I'll just recharge. Um, because this is going to kick it back over into territory for me anyway. And this is nearly done. So let's recharge this. We used a lot of power that turn. But again, we paid for the extra power. So I'm not concerned at all. Boom. Okay, so it's going to kick the drift back over. That's good. Uh, we can pay for the extra power again. Also get it drifting. And then I think I want to go ahead and, you know, I'm going to bring this up. I don't need to do it the second time though, do I? No, I can get away with it here then this time. Yeah, that way I don't have to spend these. And then all I have to do is hit this one more time next time and then recharge. Yeah, we, we get this. This is going to happen. Go. That extra power makes it really easy. Because you can just buy your way through it, you know? You don't have to worry about resisting. All right. So it levels it out. Now there's no drift, and we're right in the center. So we don't want to hit this if we can avoid it. Uh, although I think only once is fine. 
hitting it once seems like that's okay. And that gives us exactly the values we want. So we'll just hit power to, to go ahead and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just hit power to resist and we're good. The space telescope, baby. Deploy space telescope systems. There's also going to be drift involved in this too. All right, space telescope systems. Now we're going to get hit with three and we have to be precise. Okay. So this one goes out exactly in exact increments. I think we could do this. We're going to go like this. And then uh, I might just buy my way through this a little bit. Yeah, let's bump this up a little bit. Resist it. Okay, so that it's going to cost. Oh, wait. All right, I made it zero and then it comes down to three, right? Uh, okay, so the next thing is we're going to bop this for six. Hit this twice. Yep. And then we can buy with two here. I like that. Then we get this next turn brings it to zero, and the turn after that is only negative three. So we're moving it in, in multiples of three just to kind of keep that even so we don't have to deal with like a, you know, it's on one, like a, a, a one situation. We don't want that. The worst that could happen is you get off the multiples of three right now. Because then it's like you're forced to do something to get it back on that road. We don't need to because we have tons of power. All right, we're leveled out, but it's still going to do three this time. So we're going to want to get at least three more of these. So hit that, and then we can go one, two, and that just satisfies it. And we'll bring it back, and it will call it good, I think. Although, I think this, the, the completion check is before this, so I think it's, it's still going to do it, right? It has to, otherwise it, it can't complete until it does. Yeah, yeah. So I think what happens is we do this. And it won't complete. It's not going to complete for us, like, automatically. Because it won't be lined up. But I think it... I think it does complete for us as soon as it drifts. I think. Alright, so we have everything, right? We have this, we have this. Everything is completed, and the drift is done. All we really need to do is say complete task, and we just get it. Pretty sure that's how that works. It says, as the bonus objective hasn't been reached, you won't receive any bonus rewards. I think what I need, I think I just need to, uh, like, do a full recharge here. I don't see any reason why I need to get any more comms or anything, so I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go for recharge and call it good. I should get the bonus for that. Oh, that thing is so cool. Oh my god, that thing is wicked. Oh, I love it. We got Hubble. First to put the space telescope. And we get the bonus. Tell me we get the bonus. We do. So it's 122. For 120 months. Oh my god, it's spread out amongst so many months. <laughs> That's a really long-term science reward, man. Can we, can we shorten that? <laughs> like, considerably, please? Uh, anyway, so that's that. We gotta go next month. China's doing something, too. What's China up to? China just did Modular Space Station 1. Like, right alongside us. But, um... Well, they did one as we did... A space telescope. Which 14. 14 6. Damn, that's good. But it's over 120 months, so. Uh, and then this is going this is going up like right now, so. Space shuttle, man. And live from Luna, too. And the mic moon micrometeorites. Yeah, so we do both of these missions launch at the same time. Then Empyrean launches. And we have a bonus mission slot right now, so we could 
Go and do. Yes, you. I want this. I want it so bad. Give me an extra crew member here. Or maybe we do better nav. Let's do better nav. We have heat to deal with too, but I think we're going to do better nav here. Yeah, this is a rendezvous attempt. Okay, go. That's also going to get us that, that big positive reward chance buff thing. I said, I got to have it. Got to have it. Okay, next month. We got two launches this month. We got our lunar broadcast. Well, okay, they're not launching. The, the, the stuff is done, so... Jane Donato, again. Gonna give us a payload training bonus. Guess we have to take Jane. Right, we're launching moon micrometeorites. It's 99s across the board. And it's a ton of money. So, I guess... It just exists this way. <laughs> this was a waste, but like, so is the other thing. I don't know. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Do we really need to watch the launch? We of course, if it fails with a 1%, then you, we would want to know that, right? Like, we would want to see that happen, if it does. <laughs> Alright. Easy game. Alkal and Abel are so reliable. Alright, we just need to collect a really easy amount of stuff here. Um, I, I think it's easy, anyway. There's not a whole lot of options, actually. Bowsers. There's not a whole lot of options on getting payload. Uh, data. Sorry. Observation. There's virtually no chance of failure, so we can spend the power. That's good. Are we going to do this again? Spend the power to get there? I think we just do, the, do it again. Yeah, this just satisfies it. Um, easy. I mean, if we have to resist, I guess, but we shouldn't have to. Although, how many times have we seen zero already, you know? We just get it. That's good. So, next is Achieving Lunar Orbit. And we can, again, we can just buy our way through this. Although, I, I don't know if we have extra power on the mission or not, but... Uh, okay, so six and nine... We're going to need to borrow a few of you to get these, and then we're going to have to control our drift as well. I think we'll go like this for the first turn. And then I think we'll get a couple more of these and then s I kind of need to spend them though don't I yeah to bring that back a little bit we have six on the comms now though that's the hardest one to get because the other one we can just buy it here and bring the drag back okay Wow, we did get a miscalculation. Wow. I was just skipping through it, but the 1% did hit. One out of 100 chance, man. <laughs> um, we'll buy this again. And then I think we'll just buy this. We'll be cocky and say, oh, wait, we don't want to do that. We already have our drag exactly the way we want. The drift, drift exactly the way we want. So we don't want to alter the drift anymore. Uh, okay. We can afford to actually do this. And then... Uh, I think we just buy it. That'll do. That 1% 1 that 1 couldn't possibly hit again, right? Alright, good. 
So that's an easy one. And we're given a ton of money for it. 1.4 million. Let's take another let's take a look at what other missions are available here. Traffic tracking's worth a lot of money. Uh science is a big deal. Modular space station's going up. Like we're gonna have international space station, guys. This is gonna happen. What's this? Vehicle upgrade. Astronauts will survive mission failure, including launch. Mm. I kind of want to go on a longer term mission. Everybody's going to Jupiter. Look at them all. Japan, good luck on your launch to Saturn. I think I want to go to Uranus. <laughs> I do. Oh, I do. I really do. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, so another Voyager craft. You know, this is probably going to take like another, what, three years? The thing is, though, I want to be first. You know they're going to go for it. You know these guys are going to go for it. And like, yeah, I could do the Grand Tour. But the Grand Tour is going to take a lot longer. And I won't be first. I want to be... I can be first right now. I can do it. This is one long-term mission. I think we're going to do it. We're going to take this mission. And I'm going to pay... That is a... That's actually not that much more expensive. It's 200k. Wow, I like how the color changes too. That's cool. Let's build it. Let's go. We're going to Uranus. <laughs> Let's go. I love it. We're sending a probe there. <laughs> uh, I'm so mature. I am so mature. Martian water study. That's interesting. It's worth quite a bit of stuff too. Maybe I should have done that. You know what? We can do it next time because Empyrean's going to be done very soon. Lunar broadcast. Let's get all three of you to go. And we're going to get a mission training bonus uh, by sending her. So our payload reliability gets 100% bonus for this. I like that. And we'll train for March, looks like. Yeah. March launch. Go. March launch. March launch. March launch. That's... Not the easiest thing to say. Empyrean, let's go. And modular space station three research is completed. Multi-planetary species. Mars, Mars is firmly in the sights of all the space agencies. Landing humans on the red planet is widely seen as the first major step in making us an interplanetary species. But who will reach Mars first? It's going to be the US of A. Of course. All right, mission training bonus just went up. Optimal launch windows become suboptimal launch windows. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, that hurts. We're going to have to have a new test pilot. Congratulations. You're part of our crew now. Um, there's only two spots here, too. So let's bring a scientist for the next one. Or an electrician. Now we have 91% reliability. Let's bring a scientist for the next one. Vila, you're in. Test pilot and scientist. Good. Okay, so we have 95% reliability on, as the base reliability for this. And, I mean, because we're going in suboptimal launch windows, I'm actually going to prioritize launch because I do not want to lose this payload. So, even though we have 95%, I'm still going to prioritize launch. Although, will it matter? You know, I don't think it'll matter, right? It's not like I can kick this to 120 and then we see it drop to... Well, maybe it will matter. Hang on. Let's say 79% here. Yeah, it looks like it's always going to be 79. Right? Even if we get the bonus, it's still... I don't I don't think that matters. I don't think it does, guys. Because... It's going to give us the bonus based on this. And we can only reach a maximum of 99, and then it's going to reduce to suboptimal. It would be different if it would take this number, reduce it to suboptimal, then apply the bonus, right? I don't know what order this stuff does it. I guess we could science it right now. Except that I would love to do science focus if that's the case. Or even a support focus would be kind of cool. 
The port focus would be awesome, actually. Maybe we do support focus instead. If we do a support focus, we'll at least get a whole lot of support for this. But now it's 75%. Yeah, that's what it's doing. That's exactly what it's doing. That's why it says 79 before. So it's gonna take your it's gonna take your 95. It's gonna add your bonus up to a maximum of 99 and then reduce it 20% for the suboptimal date. So training launcher does almost nothing. You might as well train something else, which is why we're gonna train support instead. We're launching in March. We got the test pilot. Hopefully that's enough. And if it's not, well. Newbies. At least we lost the newbies. <laughs> Let's go, Svesta. 9,600 science for Svesta. Gemini's going to be completed, and we have Neutral Buoyancy Lab complete. Oh, good. Wait, Tier 2 Astronaut Talents. Can my test pilot be, like, invincible now? <laughs> Can you make the craft invincible on launch? Is that your new Tier 2 talent? Supplementary build cost build time so time goes up cost goes down that's easy uh rendezvous attempt so we're just gonna send this up in something that's reliable and cheap this seems reliable but not cheap this is uh there's not really a huge difference in these to be honest we'll just pick atlas again Yeah, we'll just pick Atlas again. Uh, we want the payload to go up. Absolutely. And the contractor, let's go with Martin Spaceworks. No, actually, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to go for uh, payload. Here it is. CES Galactic. Galactic. It'll cost us more, but the payload goes up. I think I'm going to go with that one. All right. Let's send you... Because that rendezvous attempt looks like it has a decently like difficult challenge to it. All right, so we have a lot of astronauts under our employ now. Lots of athletes, too. The recovery time thing it seems pretty cool, but... Lucky! Plus 5% chance of positive mission events. Cool. Uh, we have tier 2 talents on all of these now, too. So our test pilot has a 10% launch reliability instead of a five celebrities give 10 percent mission reward advanced electricians start with plus two power bootstrapper plus one power for each unused command in turn whoa that's like wait hold on wait that's the same as just using the turn for a recharge right yeah like, I might as well just use it as a recharge. That's almost useless. Am I not reading that correctly? Plus one power for each unused command in a turn. Why not just use... I could just use that command to recharge. It's as unused. I think that's useless. Um, yeah, recovery... Data collector. Start each task with plus one data. That's cool. All right, and then our existing astronauts that are already in the field, they apparently don't get to have their plus... They don't get to have their tier two. Yeah, apparently not. Because they're already assigned to a mission. Boo! <laughs> Budget review is coming up. We're not going to get the more... We're not going to get the more money, but whatever. ESA requests data. Following the success of your space telescope mission, ESA have requested that your agency shares the scientific data obtained during the mission. Their representatives have reminded you that ESA, also referred to as ESA, I know. So, like, I was saying ESA the whole time because there's three letters in the acronym, right? And, like, typically if there's three letters in the, in the, in, in the acronym pretty common to just use the letters if there's more than three we supplement it with a with a name right that's why that's why i usually say nasa instead of nasa but then isa you could do that too esa uh it's like usa we don't say usa right it's the esa it's the it's the usa right 
I think both are acceptable, but I understand why you'd think I should say Isa. So I'll try and say Isa from now on. Does that make you feel better in some way? I don't know. Let me let me know in your comments. <laughs> Like you already were doing. Their representatives have reminded you that ESA shared their own data in the past. That's true. They did. And we're not, they're not like, I think, I don't know where they are in terms of like the race, but I don't think they're in second. So we could help them out. We gain reputation. Um, I'm pretty sure I would have lost reputation if I hadn't done that. But as far as the race to Mars, yeah, ESA is in, is in like next to last place. So we're going to help them out a little bit. I don't want to help China, and I don't want to help the Soviet Union. Those, those, Both of those two guys can just take a hike, okay? Just go... I don't know. Go make a sandwich. <laughs> Our Uranus flyby! Yay! Only the vehicle's boosted reliability counts towards the launch. Okay, cool. It means I can use a really cheap upper stage then. So this is the lunar broadcast. No, it's not. Never mind. There's so many things happening right now. Ah, modular space station two with the shuttle and 75% reliability. Ouch. Can we at least have good weather? This looks like good weather. Yes. Oh, good. Oh, that's this is the best. This is the best. All right. Well, 4%. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. The window may not be good, but the sun is shining, baby. Let's go. We have lift off. Good luck, newbies. Good luck, newbies. And the newbies are going to space. The, when it takes forever to fade away, I'm always like, it's going to blow up, isn't it? No. We still ended up with a negative, though. Negative one turn on the first task. Ouch. Robbing me of an entire turn is like another way of saying, no bonus for you. Like an entire turn is gone. It's really bad. All right, we're most likely not going to get the bonus here since we have a turn missing. Uh, we have to deal with drift big time. And we're starting with must equal 10. So what is it at now? That zero. I need to bring it up to 10. Oh my God. This looks challenging as all hell. Oh my goodness. This looks terrible. Okay. Uh, we'll start by going like this. I guess. Like that. Oh my god. Um, I'm really glad we have great payload reliability because, oh my gosh. I have to go to 10? You start me 10 away from... Good. Yeah. Great. You start me 10 away. And all of my... Most of my really useful crew stuff brings up the wrong direction. <laughs> Okay. Okay, game. We were, we're definitely not getting the... Uh... Yeah, we're definitely not getting the bonus here. But that's, that's exactly where I need it. I just have to find a way to get comms to 20. The other ones are pretty easy. Comms to 20 is... You're asking a bit too much for missing a turn. You're asking a bit too much. Must equal ex exactly 10. So we hit this. We use the extra to do this. And then we have no extra there. So I guess we just... All right, I'm going to do this one this turn. And then this one the next turn. So we're going to get... <sighs> it's not enough, though. Yeah, it's not enough. I need to do that just to get it close. Losing a turn blows! 
Losing a turn really blows. All right, here we go. Can we get... Can we get three of these suckers? I, I need... Uh, you. Then I need... You. And then I need... Recharge. And that's guaranteed. Freaking losing a turn, man. Almost didn't get the objective because of that. Alright. Space Station is in the air. No bonus, but it's in the air. Modular. Ah, <sighs> It feels good, you know. It feels good to be first. They're on the space station for uh, two months. So now... We can start... Modular Space Station 3... As soon as Vez is done. And I think... Yeah, once the research for Svezda is done. Now, is there anybody going on the Grand Tour? Like, is anybody rushing that? So far, no. So far, we're the only ones. Actually, we're the only ones on this, too. A lot of those guys were putting a lot of time into Jupiter just now, so... Like, we're not going to get Jupiter, but we're going to get Uranus. <laughs> Yes, we are. Um, maybe money. Global positioning? Maybe money. It's worth a bunch, you know? Observation modules. Observation modules, maybe? What's the... Okay, well, I think we want improved comms. For this and then uh yeah we just want improved comms so let's go and build this but i need to make sure before i build this i need to make sure that the uranus flyby mission is funded so the upper stage is going to be centaur d now this this the upper stage is the cheapest i can do for this but it doesn't matter for reliability on the launch because only the booster does in this particular craft. So in that sense, we can use the Saturn V, but that's expensive. Um, I could use the, the Atlas, which is probably better to do. It costs half that. Yeah, I think probably the Atlas here. If I wanted to increase it further, I could always pop a booster on it. Go 79 here. 84. I think we'll go here. It's eight months versus using the Saturn V, which is 2,811 months. We could have this one at 2,108 months, and we get 84% reliability for this by using the boosters. Is there really that much of a difference between 79 and 84? Yeah, I don't think I'd live myself if I like if I if this thing blew up after I put two million dollars into it, just because I didn't want to pay that little extra bit. I'd probably be upset about it. Let's improve payload reliability further. So now we get this rocket at the cost of we get this at the cost of using the Saturn V to go to Uranus. We get eighty one percent payload reliability and eight months instead of 11. So it's basically like using the Saturn V here, except faster build time and better payload reliability. I can get behind that. Yeah, okay, cool. So that's being built. Now that I've funded that, let's see if we can actually fund the global positioning one. It's 643, we can, there we go. All right, now we're drained on cash, but the lunar broadcast is ready to launch. Oh yes it is. Lunar broadcast is ready, but guess what? We're going to do that next time. Yes. <laughs> I have to keep you coming back for more videos, right? Besides, uh, 
you guys love me, so you'll totally come back and watch the next one, right? And you're gonna absolutely hit the like button on this because why wouldn't you? I mean, because you guys are awesome people. I do appreciate you. This channel is way busier than it's ever been in my in the history of me doing YouTube, and I cannot be more grateful. Thank you so much for enjoying the series with me, for coming back for video after video, for your engagement. It's incredible. I'm I'm humbled by it. It it's it's amazing. Thank you so much for that. We'll see you next time. Bye.